A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Fellow mathematicians, welcome back to na video. I hope I only have to do this video once, <laughs> not re-record. Today a bit more elementary geometry and a fun episode at that. And this is also a challenge to you once again. Are you able to construct a length of length <laughs> golden ratio using just straight edge and compass? Straight edge is something with no units on it and a compass is just a compass. So try it out for yourself, give it a shot and maybe you're going to be able to do it. I really like this exercise, it's a cool exercise for grades 11 to 12, something of that sort in high school and yeah it's just very satisfying overall that you are able to construct an irrational constant apart from square root of 2 for, for example using just straight edge and compass, very, um, a, a very satisfying construction. Other than that, have you already checked out my second channel, Flemish Wood? I'm posting kind of regularly over there, I have a lot of stuff to do in less time, but I'm posting videos over there. Check it out, link down there in the description and now we are going to dive right in. So how would you go about constructing yourself the golden ratio? So my way of doing so is to take a look at the numerical definition of the golden ratio. I want you guys to remember that um, on the one hand, Variable phi, var phi is the, <laughs> is the only real phi out there. This is the golden ratio and it's equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So what information can we gather from this numerical definition of the golden ratio? Well, on the one hand, it's a certain length just made in half. So we are going to use a bisector at the very end. But on the other hand, what is the side length that we are going to basically cut in half? It's the side length 1 plus square root of 5. Okay, so 1 is no problem. It doesn't matter if we have units on our stick, on our straight edge or not. What we can just say is that this length, for example, is a unit side length. It really doesn't matter. It's, it's just a straight edge. People back in the days didn't have any real units whatsoever. So we are just going to claim that this, for example, is a unit length. really doesn't matter what our little Zollstock says here on the numbers. So this right here is just a unit, but what about square root of 5? Are you able to construct the square root of 5 as a length? Yes, you actually are able to do so. Because if we take a closer look, what is the square root of 5? This is just the square root of 4 plus 1. And this is very magical because this is just a consequence from constructing a right triangle. Namely this right here is just the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared. This right here is just the hypotenuse of a right triangle with side lengths 2 and 1. So what you want to construct is here is a unit side length. This is something we can definitely construct. Then we have double the unit side length. We can also double side length. This is not a problem. And as a consequence we are going to get the square root of 5. This is the first draft. Then we have the square root of 5 as this length. Then we are just going to take our unit side length that we have here. Then we can draw a circle for, for example. And we are just going to... So this circle has a radius of 1 unit side length. Then we are just going to extend our line square root of 5 plus 1. Giving us what we have in the numerator. And then we are going to put the bisector in. And then we are going to be done. And then we are going to compare our value that we get right here. I have my good old salt stock here, so I can just measure the centimeters and then just make a little conversion. What our new unit system is in comparison to the regular one in centimeters. And then we are going to see how accurate our construction actually is. And now we are going to do so. At first, I'm going to draw a unit side length. Really doesn't matter to me. Let us just propose that this right here is a unit side length. Something of that sort. Okay, now with the unit side length done, don't forget that, this right here is equal to 1 basically. What we are going to do is we are going to double the side length at first. How do you double side lengths? Well, you can't use the straight edge anymore. In a normal case it's infinitely long, so you have just drawn this line and you can't really recreate it using your straight edge anymore. What we need is our compass. And to double the side length it's actually fairly easy. What we are going to do is we are just going to take our compass and set it to the length that we desire. in the hopes that I got it. Okay, this is always a tiny little bit tricky. It's not as easy as it looks on camera, but I got this one done. This right here is my unit side length. And now I'm just going to extend the line to the side. 
and we are also going to keep this length for now. We need the unit side length later. And now what we can simply do is we can take our infinitely, not infinitely long <laughs> straight edge and just extend our line. And et voila, we got something of length two, for example. Okay, perfect. Um, this right here has length two now. But now what we need to do is we need to construct a right triangle just like here. Meaning we need to get a side length perpendicular to this one that we got. How would you get a side length perpendicular to the one that we got right here? Well, we are going to bisect our line in some kind of way. This way we are going to get a perpendicular and then we are just going to keep drawing. Um, I'm going to bisect this one such that we get a side length of one once again. So we are just going to flip this um, a tiny little bit. We are going to mirror our right triangle that we have sketched here um, to basically now I need to rearrange my compass. Now to basically get ourselves a bisector, all we have to do is get ourselves the compass to be a bit longer than half of our side length that we got right here. And then we are going to put it in on one side. Then we are going to draw these little circle parts. We are going to go to the other side. And et voila, we are done. Now we've gotten ourselves a bisector. Now we can draw this. And once again, we are back to square one. But one cool thing about um, being back to square one, <laughs> square one because of unit side length, is um, that we are actually already at a point where we have constructed a side length of length two. So we can just set our compass to this length and then we are going to extend this line to this length of two unit meshes. Okay, um, once again, this is gonna be the bit tricky part, getting this set up properly. Give me a second, please. Yeah, that will work. And now, just like before, we are going to put our compass in. We are going to extend this one. And now we have a length of two units. Okay, we are nearly done because now the cool thing is we've got our right angle here. This is one unit long, this is two units long. Meaning the corresponding length that we get here as the hypotenuse is going to be square root of five long, probably. We'll later see if our construction worked once we measure everything and convert units basically. Um, let me see if I can get it done properly. Uh, that's that's a bit inaccurate to be honest. Always a bit tricky at the blackboard, especially because it keeps moving. <laughs> this is something I really can't get rid of um, only when I start moving houses. Now this right here is square root of five. Now the only two things left to do is to extend this line segment by one unit, okay, downwards, just like we did before, or upwards, but I can't go upwards really, and then we are going to bisect this one plus square root of five line, and then we are basically done. And it's, it's, it's that easy actually, and you get yourself, uh, hopefully perfect, <laughs> square root of five plus one over two, so golden ratio, in other words, side length. Now, that was an epic fail. <laughs> Can I get it done? I do hope so. No, please fuck off. So nice. So we got this and now I'm going to, oh, this is very close. This is very close to the edge, but um, I got it done nonetheless. Now extending this boy once again, I'm trying to make it as accurate as possible. We got ourselves one plus square root of five now. And now we are going to bisect this bitch. And then we are going to convert units. Bisecting, just like before, we are just going to take an arbitrary measurement, which is a bit longer than half of our side length that we wish to bisect. In the hopes that this is the case. Maybe a bit longer, maybe, maybe. Uh, gotta set it up a bit more properly. And I think this shall work. Always make sure that you're not moving um, your compass anymore. So in, in terms of um, setting a different, 
a different radius of your circle. Can I hit it? Can I hit it? Okay, et voilà, et voilà. Oh, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, oh, très bien. Le français, or some shit. Oh no, Blackboard, you are annoying as fuck. So, here, I was <laughs> referencing the wrong point. And now we got it done. So this side length that we now have, that I'm going to make a bit more big. Is it just me or is that golden ratio looking kind of big? This right here should be a golden ratio length. Now we are going to measure in real units and <laughs> I'm so sorry. My dog is lying here and he's puking right now and I just find this very funny. I think you can't hear it in the video. I do hope so at least, but it's still rather funny. So let us see. Um, this is 45.5 centimeters. Um, so fa is equal to 45.5 centimeters. But if we take a look at our unit length, our unit length is 28.5 centimeters. So one is equal to 28.5 centimeters. We are now going to see what the actual value of our golden ratio must be. So this is just cross multiplication. So far um, times 28 divided by 5 centimeters. And now I'm going to get myself work from alpha and see if we are going to arrive at 45.5 centimeters. So using work from alpha, this is just something that you can type in. Golden ratio times 28.5 is going to give me an accurate measurement of 46.11 centimeters in our new unit system. Meaning we are actually pretty damn close considering that um, I'm working in centimeters and this is already a pretty large scale here. This is almost half a meter. So yeah, I would say that this construction was rather successful and I hope you did enjoy what you have seen today. Were you able to figure it out? By yourself leave some comments down there below and if you want to see more geometry more number theory be because the golden ratio is a huge part of number theory and the like then why not make sure to check out the contents of today's sponsor brilliant who are kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel <laughs> Honestly, for me, it's always a plus to go through such constructions in elementary geometry. I'm not a huge fan of elementary geometry because you play with vectors around and all the stuff. You define cosine in the most elementary way and the like, and it's just not much fun. But this stuff right here is very cool to think about. And if you are an avid enjoyer of elementary constructions, maybe you want to learn something about elementary geometry, about the Euclidean axioms and all this cool stuff that just happens in elementary geometry, then the interactive courses over on Brilliant might be the perfect fit for you. Brilliant is an online learning platform and app with nearly 70 interactive courses in all topics STEM, be it the mathematics that we did today, computer sciences, physics, chemistry, you name it in the STEM field, it's there and Brilliant definitely got something up their sleeve for you. And the course concept just makes the site so unique. It's the best online learning experience I ever had on a platform ever on the internet. And this really says a lot because I already have a lot of experience with platforms on the internet which try to teach students and also um, other people like me, teachers, things. And Brilliant just really stands out as being the most in interactive and most tangible platform I found out there on the internet. Now the course concept is rather simple. You start off very basic. You want to take a look at the topic. And this topic is going to be explained a tiny little bit. Just the first details. And those details are going to get increasingly difficult. You are going to go through a regular learning experience that you would also have in school. Teacher tells you something, you rinse and repeat and do exercises. But with a huge twist to those exercises at that because they are highly interactive. Meaning you are going to play around with graphics, graphs, you are going to vary the parameters of a function such that you can find something out about the zeros of the function or the like. Just take a look at their everyday mathematics courses or their calculus courses. They are just full of interactive things. And this is like the 
main goal of Brian, trying to um, get you to understand the topics at hand as intuitively as possible. And if you are a learner, a learning type, I would say, which just loves to learn through looking at things and playing around with things using your own two hands, then Brilliant is definitely the perfect fit for you and you should try it out for yourself using the link down there at the top of the description, brain.org slash Maths. With it, you are going to get free access to a big portion of Brain already, but more importantly, if you really, really do enjoy it and you want to spark more of your curiosity, then the first 200 people to actually make use of the link get 20% of an annual premium subscription, which is a great deal considering how much content they already have available on their website and how much content they are adding on a regular basis. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And I thank you guys for watching. This was really fun. I really enjoyed it exercise honestly that that was cool and I was planning to present it on this channel for ages but I never got around doing elementary geometry but in less time we're going to do more and there's going to be a bunch more videos out so yeah I hope you do enjoy it too uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to also check out Flemmy's Wood and up until the next video I wish you guys a day see ya